What's up guys? Josh here at Modern Frontiersman. Hope everybody's having a good day. So I'm headed out to work and I just got to thinking while I'm driving along, how are you going to get places in SHTF? If your vehicle's down, if your vehicle's up. Well, either way, right? A lot of times we want to talk about SHTF, we want to talk about grid down. We want to talk about EMPs or whatever, but still, what if the grid's up? Well, what do you mean? How would I get places if the grid's up? I mean, if there, if there's still vehicles and everything, I'll just drive. Yeah, but maybe there'll be a lot more to it than that. Maybe just driving on your own isn't safe. I just loaded up, a sh uploaded a short on how to, you know, not get stuck in a riot in a in a danger area like that. And, you're, and, and I'm not talking about in SHTF uh, the way we typically talk about it. I'm talking about, you know, things are still going on. Things are still up. Uh, there's just riots and stuff going on like we saw a couple of years ago. Um, perhaps it'd be better to travel in some sort of convoy. Uh, maybe be a little bit more armed than normal. Maybe more than just your... Uh, Handheld pews, maybe more than that. Uh, maybe, sorry, it's probably loud. This road is gravel. I don't have air conditioning, so I keep my windows down. Um, never had air in this truck, and I, I don't even care. Uh, but um, maybe it'd be advantageous to travel in a convoy. grid's down or if the grid is up um, another thing we were talking about as a, as a group the other day was um, have you thought about how you're going to get across bridges if those bridges still exist in SHTF will there be people there maybe uh, trying to collect a toll you know people who have taken control of that bridge and they turn it to a toll bridge um, what if the bridge is gone what if you have to cross a river say like the Tennessee River which is the closest large river to me. It's only, it's not very far away. That river's wide. Have you thought about like, if you have to get across those, like how will you, how will you cross them? Uh, so well, I'll just use a canoe. Okay, well how will you get the canoe there? What if there are no vehicles, um, you know, operational? How will you get that canoe or that, you know, little flat bottom boat there? And how will you get across it? safely and uh, how will you land on the other side safely how will you do all these things it's like the what are they what is happening here it's like the roads closed but uh I guess I just drove down a closed road I don't know so how do you get down a closed road you just drive around the signs <laughs> uh, so that's something to think about how you uh, navigate those obstacles. Um, maybe if the grid's still up, it'd be advantageous to keep a chainsaw in your truck in case there are logs across the road that nobody's moved, uh, or an axe, or something like that. Hand saws. That's what I do during the winter time. I keep an axe and a chainsaw and a hand saw in the back of my truck just in case because there's a lot of storms in the winter another thing is uh, different means of transportation do you have any ideas or, or alternatives for your vehicle I've seen somebody on Facebook see I've always recommended I think horses are one of the best options somebody recommended on Facebook in a Facebook group I saw the other day it was saying horses are a liability in SHTF they can get shot or whatever uh, yeah, well horses have been used for like all of time for warfare and for travel up until like the last what I don't know not even a hundred years people are still using horses a hundred years ago so um, you know there there you have something that can feed off the land drink water off the land doesn't require oil or or some of the maintenance that a vehicle does uh, it can have babies and you can, uh, you can give birth to more vehicles I think a horse I think horses are one of the best options uh, but then there's
there's also, if that's not an option, there's also bicycles. I think that's a good option. Um, some people have suggested those little pull carts, like the, the gorilla carts for pulling stuff behind. Those would be cool as long as you don't have any like rough terrain to go over that, that you couldn't get those things over. I'm not answering these questions here. I'm just I'm just asking the questions and giving some ideas. Um, because I mean everything it always depends on the context, like what what type of uh, SHCF event we're talking about, what level uh, your what your mission is. Uh, why you're going somewhere what the terrain's like what kind of enemies there are met TC type stuff but it's something it's something everybody should think about how you're gonna travel when you when you get when you need to get somewhere in SHCF not only how you're gonna travel but how you can move items uh, to and fro if you need to go collect water and you haven't secured a water source or something happened to your water source, the Leroy Jenkins gang sabotaged it. Um, how are you going to carry large amounts of water back to your back to your house from the creek or wherever it is you have to go? <coughs> it's another thing to think about. So I'm just saying, think about these things. Think about. Uh, how you can solve these types of problems go through your everyday life maybe I mean, I'm not saying think about it all the time I'm just saying at some point through your day maybe remind yourself like think like okay what am I doing right now now how would I do this how could I accomplish the same task after SHTF or when the grid is down Give it some thought, and as always, stay self-reliant.